This is my Xiaomi 17 Pro and it's running the latest Android 16 with High Boys version 3. And I do believe that the lock screen on High Boys 3 is one of the best I've seen, guys. And before I show you everything that is absolutely marvelous and beautiful, how you can configure it, let me tell you, they finally implemented one, two, the double tap to lock your phone, which was missing in the High Boys version 2. It was something that I really wanted to get and it's here and it is looking great. This is my lock screen, guys. Take a note on um, that very beautiful depth effect that is applied. I have the date here and uh, the week there as well. So I'm gonna go back on my home screen. So we have plenty of options on how to access the customizations. You can also go and click settings and then personalization, guys. Now, unlike HypoS2, from here you can see all the pairs that you already created. But what you can also do, you can click on wallpaper, guys. And from here, you are going to get also the option to select everything. You can shuffle wallpapers, you can use the stock ones, you can create your own, you can try to download the super wallpapers that are absolutely amazing. I'm going to show you how this works straight from the lock screen. So again, I'm back on my OS on display. This thing here is, it's just stunning, guys. And it is my lock screen. So how can I customize my wallpaper from here? You know, I just need to hold and then press customize. And then you see, we get a very nice, beautiful blur applied. And I'm here, guys. And those are all my sets. And I know this looks a bit like iOS, actually a lot like iOS. So I can access from here all my sets. And unlike iOS, I can just swipe up and I can show you now everything that HyperOS version 3 has to offer. And honestly, I have the reason to believe that this is probably one of the best, if not the best, lock screen customization on the market right now. Take a look, this is the classic one. Some very nice bloomy wallpapers with the clock. By the way, pay attention guys, the clock has a depth effect, okay? So I'm just showing you all the colors so you can see what you can do. So let's say that I like this one. I can select this one, right? The first thing I see is that I have the date here and then I have the clock and then I can add some signatures. Sadly, no widgets, but we can also see is that I have the depth effect button, uh, which was there before. But right now what I can do, instead of clicking like HypoS version two, you know, the fonts and then change the clock, I can just click the clock here and now take a look at this guys. I have settings for both the clock and the fold options and there are plenty of them. I'm gonna show all of them to you guys. So it's this one, it's this one as well. It's this one, right? You can see by the way, also trying to apply some depth effects. So we have the classic clocks and then here are the big boys guys. We have the big clocks, this one, <laughs> this one just amazing, right? This one as well, okay? This one, all right, this one and this one and then a few more, this one, this one and then a very uh, nice and big one with a date. Then you have some Eastern aesthetics. All right, you can see this one or this one or this one or that one. And then guys, we have magazine style like smile and stuff like this. And then we have the doodle lock screen. <laughs> this is, it's absolutely budget crazy. Uh, what I put there because again, there's so many options and I kind of like all of them. Now, let me select this one. Right now, what I can do, I can click on the font, guys, and I have options for it to apply. So I can take some colors from the wallpaper, but I can just go and use my own. So let's say that I'm gonna use this one. And then I have four different effects that I can apply, like the solid one, the blend one, the overlap, and the gradient, All right, The gradient is very nice, you can see, kind of blurry. So let's stay with the gradient. And right now, guys, what I can do is I can click on the clock, right? I cannot move it around, but I am able to click the depth effect, which in this case is not gonna look great, right? But let me show you more, guys. There are some wallpapers where you can apply the depth effect. It's going to look stunning. Okay, so this has been the classic. This thing here is people. Let's start with this one. We have this one, we have this one, this one, this one with the cats, this one, all right, this one, the end, I think, guys, this is probably one of the best. So let me just try to click here. This is a very good example on how you can apply the depth effect and it's nothing less but stunning, all right? This is now the clock. So let's click on the clock. I'm going to click on the phone, guys, and I'm gonna use a gradient one and I'm gonna click now the depth effect. And you can see this works so beautifully, guys. I know that it's been inspired by iOS. I could not really care less because the way Xiaomi implemented this, it's absolutely marvelous. And what I'm gonna show you guys from here is all the different options. So we have the uh, depth effect, and on this you have already seen. And guys, when I click on the clock, you can change the clock style. Let's by the way, go with something else, all right? Because here with this, 
you can finally apply some very nice depth effects and like you see on this wallpaper it's going to completely work on fine and it's going to be absolutely crazy again not all the clocks are going to work but if you want to play with the big clocks i think you can do it and it's going to look stunning all right now pay attention guys the next thing is absolutely crazy we have the ai button and i know now ai is a huge thing everybody's putting ai everywhere we have samsung galaxy ai you know galaxy AI is one of the probably the selling points with the new samsung phones we now live in the ai era so i think this is unavoidable but the thing is what can ai do for us in this case so we have two big options or two main options we have the static one and the dynamic one so now i'm going to try to demonstrate you all the various styles because a lot of the reviews that uh, show ipos version 3 they just show this for a brief of a second and in this channel i really want to go deep so i prefer to create 10 videos you know on its sections and then probably after months of usage like one or two months create like one big video as my review by the way the xiaomi 17 pro max has been my daily driver since i got it so this is the way i do things and i really hope that uh, some of you are going to like this and if that's the case you know what to do but now guys let me click here on the anime one so we have anime one anime two we have 3d carton and we have needle felting okay so i'm just going to create this one and by the way i'm using a stock picture probably i'm going to also show you with some of my pictures what will happen right now is that xiaomi ai will analyze this picture and it will try to create you know some anime styles out of it some of the times it's not okay but most of the times it's going to look absolutely gorgeous guys and it's going really to transform your wallpaper and it can do this to your photos as well which is something i'm going to show but now let's see how this thing is going to turn out it's probably going to take sometimes like a minute and a half a minute something like but this take a look at this <laughs> result guys this is absolutely stunning guys so what i can do right now i can click here i can go on the phone and i can go and i can use blend solid overlap overlap is going to be also very very nice now you can see it's like semi-translucent semi-transparent guys so let me just go back here and i'm going to use the solid one just you know to make it pop a bit so now i'm going to click anime 2 and i'm going to click generate and at the same time i'm going to start my stopwatch all right guys like i told you it's already like 90 seconds and it's still generating it so if i have one complaint towards this is yes it's definitely not 30 seconds eh, oh okay yep so it's one minute 42 seconds okay <laughs> And yes, on some of them, guys, you then have the option to use the depth effect. Um, if the AI isn't able to recognize the object, then you're probably not going to be able to use it. Let's use the 3D cartoon. And I'm going to also show you how the finish in background works. You just click here, boom, quite quicker than the previous one. And again, it, it's just good, guys. So I'm not saying that AI, you know, can do things. It sometimes can do things. And yeah, quite often the results are going to be very good. And then again, I'm going to load a photo of my own so that you can see how this thing is going to work with an image that is not a stock image of a beautiful woman just casual looking at a phone and probably taken on a camera for like $1,000. Now, this one is very cool, guys. Needle felting. Let me show you. When it's ready, you're going to get a notification. AI wallpapers generating. Tap to view. And here it is. And as you can see, it ain't that bad, it has like all this <laughs> fabric. And by the way, yeah, depth effect is still gonna work. So right now, guys, what I wanna show you is what happens when I use one of my photos. So I'm gonna load the photos of my boys. Yes, the depth effect, guys, so stunning. Yeah, you can see I cannot see boy number two. What I can do is potentially click here and probably use a gradient or let's say an overlap so that yeah also i can see my little boy and uh, now guys i'm gonna try to reapply these air effects on my boys to see how this is going to work out with a picture that is actually taken by the xiaomi 17 pro unlike the professional models casually looking at a camera and worth probably thousands of dollars and now let's try anime one you're in line stay tuned <laughs> by the way you can see here i'm not sure for what reason i cannot see uh, that it's gonna take 30 seconds probably because it's not so yeah xiaomi probably should just remove this kind of notification from the other um, generations because we know it can take up to almost like two minutes but let's see if the result is worth it why not and here it is and it's a bit weird i don't want to use the word disappointing i actually did by the way but yes you can see it sometimes this is the so-called ai hallucination guys it's it's fun and i'm not even sure that probably just a picture from a random like picture from the internet probably with some AI generations yes it's a bit weird okay but the depth effect still applies i'm gonna go directly and use 3d cartoon and this is the result and honestly it ain't bad all right again uh ai right 
<laughs> uh, and honestly, what I like about it is the fact is that when you just scale up or zoom in, zoom out the image, guys, you can see the clock is going to blend in. Sometimes the depth effect is going to apply, sometimes not. But it is very, very good. And it gets a lot of the things right, which is okay. The needle felting. Okay, so I'm going to click it. I'm going to click generate. And let's AI do its magic. And this is it. And yeah, it doesn't even look remotely like the photo. Uh... <laughs> But anyway, guys, let me know what you think down below in the comments. The good thing is, it still looks okay, all right? And you can apply the depth effect. Oh, and yeah, let me show something else. I'm gonna just go back and get the image. There are also some effects. So original, all right, blur. And if you add blur, of course, you're not gonna get depth effects. You have lenses. You have this one, the read it, reaped, all right? You have also the matte effect. What happens when I press it? Okay, yeah, let's see. <laughs> Yeah, so many nice things, guys. And uh, this one again, it's prism, and then you have grooves, and then you have this matte effect, which will kind of like somehow obscure the picture. And guys, this is just one of the many options, all right? There are so many, it is just mind blowing how many things they build in. All right, let's try and uh, use that one as well. Okay, what happens here, guys? Let me just try to load up some uh, of my other photos. So I'm gonna go and click on the gallery. This is just so nice. Clock is obscured. All right, I don't know why the clock is obscured. If I probably go with this one. Oh my God, clock is obscured. Oh no, this also didn't work somehow. Yeah, now the clock isn't obscured. And depth effect absolutely works. And I really like the way it's applied, guys. And just pay attention, like these very nitty nitty gritty details. When I just hit a depth effect, it's going to somehow glow around the object with the cutouts, which I think is kind of cool. And again, I was probably doing that as well. I'm not sure at this moment, but this thing is absolutely beautiful. And then we go to the scenery, guys. And this is breathtaking. Why? Let me tell you. Right, first things, you can download the dynamic wallpaper to be applied on your lock screen and also on your home screen. But here, I tested this already with the big clock and it's, let me show you guys, this is insane. So I'm gonna use the this like this very big clock and take a look at this. This is mad. This is very, very, very good. The scenery here, this is now the always on. Double tap, will wake it. You can see the clouds. Right, just hovering over the clock and it's this is marvelous always on display this is my beautifully moving and animated wallpaper with the depth effect that is stunning and now this is going to be me on my home screen and when i do it like this you see when i unlock it fast it's going to still move around and i do believe that there are actually two options for this one if i click on the wallpaper there's going to be also this one i'm going to click bold i can hit apply and you can see how quick this works. And right now, guys, I'm going to have this thing here, which is absolutely crazy. So it's the always on. And then I have uh, the lock screen and then boom, it's gonna move away and then fixate itself. So honestly, guys, I think this is probably one of the best lock screen customizations right now, but there are more. So let me just go back to scenery. If I go back to scenery, we have this, we have this, all right. We have this, this is also cool, and we have things like this, this is also marvelous. And take a look at this, guys, I can now click here, all right? And I can also always go like for the big clock. For some, uh, the depth effect is not gonna work, but in this case, it is gonna work, all right? Um, yeah, it's going to look like that, and this is absolutely crazy good. I'm gonna hit here, I'm gonna click my set, guys, and I'm gonna go here. And this is now the wallpaper with the blur, but I can just unblur it and I can press apply. And then what this means is that I'm going to have the always on, the lock screen, and then boom, a static wallpaper. And this symbol here means that there are animations. Okay, what about this thing? Is this thing animated? Let's try to see. All right, I don't like this clock style. I kind of like the big one with depth effects. And I can download the dynamic wallpaper version, which is going to be the animated one. You can see how beautifully the clouds just hover over the clock here. And you can also see how the shadows retract is like a time lapse. I cannot blur this wallpaper because it is a dynamic one. But what I can do is just apply it and then show the end effect to you. Absolutely marvelous. So let's go from the always on to the dynamic wallpaper to back on my home screen. 
I mean, what more can you want, I know, from wallpaper and uh, from lockchain customizations? Honestly, I think that Xiaomi are absolutely killing it. It was already very good inside uh, the iPoise version 2 and they really took it now to the next level. So what else do we have besides the scenery, guys? Then we have the Eastern Aesthetics and this is the final portion. So Eastern Aesthetics is a combination of some very striking wallpapers in terms of colors and contrast. With this big clock, no depth effect is gonna be applied. From here, I'm gonna load up my photo, guys, and I wanna show you something that I did not show to you. So when I click on Analyze, remember we did the Anime 1, 2, and the cartoon and uh, the needle field or whatever thing this was. There is one more option and this one is the dynamic one and it's get even more crazier because the dynamic one guys let me show you it will try to simulate you know some movement you know with ai so let's try to see how this is going to work on people voila and now you can see the magic happening so honestly it got some things right it got the jackets and the colors right and it also try to like somehow animate it this is good guys i don't think that's a photo i did i think that's a photo i downloaded but nevertheless i'm gonna try to animate this because if the ai is gonna do it right then i expect to see the car hovering and this is the end result and it's probably not the end result that i personally expected but it's still the proper car is the mercedes benz uh -huh. and it's animated by the way you can see this is crazy for a reason on the static wallpapers i have more options like landscape all painting and in painting and remember when i was just putting people there i got to only the needle felting so it's worth trying it well, let's try the landscape one and apparently this is the landscape one, which isn't truly landscape, and it's changed the Mercedes-Benz to another one, which is still a classic, and the depth effect isn't the great here. So again, guys, it's AI, right? We all know that it's good for so many things, uh, but when it's not good, then it's not good. But nevertheless, this doesn't really take away from the shine of the Xiaomi HyperOS version 3 Luxtream customizations, and I really hope that in this video, you were able to see some of that potential. Yes, if you like what I do, guys, you know what to do. Stay safe. VST over. Bye.